Joining us now here in studio to discuss this case, legal analyst uh, Michelle Suskauer is here. Counselor, we welcome you. Thank you. And new to our program, but we're very happy to have him. Uh, straight from his days of duties with the New York PD, John Pisciano, former chief of staff under Bernie Carrick Thank there to the sorry. NYPD. It is, it is good to have you with us. John, video capture scenes. Police admittedly have a challenging job. Yes, sir. When you see this, what's your reaction? Well, it's an unfortunate incident. It's terrible that Mr. Garner lost his life. I mean, unfortunately, I mean, when the police you know, come up on you and, t and, and ask you, you know, that they have something that they've seen you do, you know, you should comply. You know, he has a history um, with the NYPD, I believe 30 arrests since 2007. And, you know, two w in, in 2014, and that particular day he happened to be um, irritated, didn't want to uh, cooperate, and unfortunately it got to that point, which uh, the incident may have caused his death. Well, a big man, obviously, uh, as, yes, as a guy who I had gastric bypass surgery, I know what it's like to fight weight issues. I'm not trying to cop a plea for the guy, but you say it's important for people to comply. Now, before we have the counselor weigh in on this, we want to hear officially from New Yorkers right now. Both Mayor Bill de Blasio and the New York Police Commissioner Bill Bratton have weighed in on this incident. Let's take a listen to what they have to say, and then Michelle will get your comments. This is a terrible tragedy that occurred yesterday, a terrible tragedy that no family should have to experience. As defined in the department's uh, patrol guide, that this would appear to have been uh, a chokehold. So there's uh, Commissioner Bratton reviewing the facts of the case. Uh, Michelle, you obviously are a criminal defense attorney. Uh, you, you can see the challenge that police have in striking a balance in terms of order and how things can can accelerate. Sure, and, and has never served in that capacity as a police officer, but certainly have defended individuals and also defended police officers. Certainly I can understand that they have to make split-second decisions, and it's hard for us to second-guess. But with the advent of, of video phones, um, we are seeing so much more, especially uh, police officers' vehicles being equipped with, with video cameras as well those types of interactions and so of course we're you know Monday morning quarterbacking this and looking at this but this seems to me to be one error compounded upon another in this particular case um, this was a alleged nonviolent offense they have many officers taking him down um, was that necessary could there have been a citation that would have been given again I'm not a police officer, just a criminal defense lawyer. Um, and when uh, being, being put in a particular type of maneuver where it's obstructing his airway, and then again, over and over again, five times saying he can't breathe, not letting up until he is dead, um, is just, to me, outrageous. It's so hard for me to even listen to this video. A quick amendment, we don't know that he expired Honestly. in the grasp of... Okay. Of, oh. of the of the uh, officer. Okay, you're right. We we don't, and I I want to correct myself. But then having EMT come and not do anything in order, and and if you actually there's actually another video where one of the EMT workers is saying we we're here, move on to the stretcher, I, I, and he's completely unresponsive. Whether Sadly, he, had he he died on the way to the hospital. There there is a. There are going to be investigations. This thing, John, you you've been involved in this uh, in terms of your job at the NYPD. I guess Internal Affairs is going to be taking this from uh, from soup to nuts. Yes, they already put out a preliminary report. I believe the FBI is also waiting in the wings to take a look at this. Sure. But I mean, as as you said earlier, it was a split sec sec second decision, and the officers, the world has changed. I mean, video cameras are everywhere. So they can't play because the video is there. They still have a job to do. And obviously, they, their intention was to arrest him and not give him a citation. He was agitated. They decided for whatever reason they were going to use, you know, physical force with their hands. They didn't tase him. I don't believe that the NYPD has the tasers with patrol officers or on the covers. Right, but, but, but there still needs to be a balance between between enforcing the laws and being and 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 using humanity and dealing with the public too. And I think that's that's a tough balance. And, and it's, it, there's this whole notion of looking at an incident after it happened adds to the problems. John, you mentioned 
uh, prior offenses. Uh, Michelle, I want to get your thoughts on this. Garner's wife, the cameras come to see her. Here she is talking about her late husband and offering this remembrance. I get your thoughts on this. Garner's wife, the cameras come to see her. Here she is talking about... He never had a violent bowl in his body. So the, the statement is, here, here's a guy, a quote, non-violent offender, it's cigarettes. And you hear this, and of course there's Reverend Al there at the podium, arguably politicizing this. We got less than a minute. Your take on the humanity involved and what comes next here. Well, I think, I think what is happening in terms of the investigation, this has brought this particular investigation to light, and there are going to be so many different layers of, of eyes, I think, looking at this. And I think it's important because we can't bring Mr. Garner back, but, I, but to try to prevent this from occurring again, um, because there are so many confrontations that, that happen, we cannot have this as, as something that is a regular occurrence. Well, obviously, it's something that we're going to continue to hear about. John, Michelle, we thank you both for coming sure. in. Thank Appreciate you. your insights on this, and we'd love to hear from you. If you've got some thoughts on this, why don't you tweet them to us? Here's how you catch up with us. At Twitter, you simply send it at NewsmaxTV, hashtag America's Forum.